This one is 26 years old. 10 points, 10 inches tall, and weighing at 8.1 kilograms. That's a perfect record of three weights. Show off this hand. No draws. Well, I'd say if this was a bodybuilding competition, um, I'd say Dave Lowe's has got it all day. <laughs> uh, Lucas has definitely won this, but it's not, so... Six packs don't win fights. They help, they don't win. But you do show that you've trained well for the fight. We've got a big following for Disco Dancing Dave Law. It looks as though Lucas has got a more traditional Muay Thai base, whereas um, Dave Law's more kickboxer, kickboxer style, yeah. Finding the range, both guys, leg kicks, jabs. Big punch by there. Take a look, soft balance where it might have been. In retreating. Oh, a nice switch kick to the body there by uh, Lucas. Nice. Dave drops his hands a lot though. Yeah, it tends to turn when he gets hit. Well, Lucas, he, he'll keep his hands up. Yeah, he, he looks like he's got a really strong Muay Thai base. And he doesn't look like he wants to brawl, he wants to keep it pretty technical where Dave looks like he wants it to be a brawl. When he's here to fight, Punch there. Punch in. Break against the fence. Referee Andy Butlin splits him up. Nice high kick effort by Dave. You can see the welts on uh, Dave Law's back already from the kicks of Lucas. If I was Lucas, I'd be looking to land that um, that right low kick there, like he threw there. He, landed, he walked straight onto a punch by Dave though. The thing with Dave, he's so uh, unorthodox, his punches will come from all angles. And they do say the ones you don't see coming out the most. Yeah, Dave is very unorthodox and if, um, if Lucas does trade in a Muay Thai a gym, it might be difficult to replicate in sparring. I'm glad I'm not judging this. It's uh, very hard to judge a K1 fight. Yeah, especially when both fighters are going pretty much one for one with the attacks. Yeah. Oh, Lucas rushes in at the end. Just says the bell. Good even round, I'd say. Yeah. Difficult to judge. Had a great there, uh, Sam. Both eyes taking a back from the corners. It looks like Lucas's corner is telling him to look for the uppercut. You just saw, it, saw him adv advising. 
Maybe he spotted Dave leaning, leaning in. See if they step up the pace in the second round. So yeah, Lucas looks more. Um, like you got more about him now where Dave looks a bit tired. I think Dave threw every, everything in that first round. Yeah, I think that's, it, that's his style. He puts everything into as quickly as possible. Oh, he's still in it though. He's landed oh, a big shot. Right. He's a scrapper. Oh, the brawling. He's going. I think his scrappy style is putting Lucas off, to be honest. Yeah, Lucas. it's not something you, you can train for easily. No. Like a scrapper, not an orthodox scrapper. It's pretty, pretty slow at the minute. One, one shot here, one shot there. Both fires. They both look though as if oh, one nice. shot either way could change the fight. Nice spinning back kick there. I think Lucas is missing a trick here with that, that right low kick. I think he could take away um, Dave's lead leg if he blasted that right low kick in. He tends to lean in when he's throwing his strikes oh, as well. Nice arm. throw there, the K1 throw. Yeah. He tends to, uh, seems to lean in when he throws his shots. Yeah. Putting himself off balance. Oh, a good fight. A good punch, I should say. <laughs> I like how Dave separates the action with the push kick all the time. Gives him a chance to get his guard back up, etc. And give himself a breather. Yeah. Get his wing back and then go back in again. Short burst. Big punches. I think this is the best Dave's ever looked in his fight. And probably the best shape he's ever been in, to be honest. Nice. The only problem he does tend to turn away when he gets it. He'll throw two shots, catch him. If he, if he receives a hit, he'll turn away. Yeah, he does. That can be from a kick or a punch, he just seems to turn away from any action. You can see the evidence of that in the, the welts on his back, there from turning away as the kicks come in. But then he gets his gas back and then he goes for it. Putting uh, Lucas on his back foot. Lucas doesn't seem to know what to do when he's put on his back foot. Last 10 seconds. Good yeah, definitely. I don't, um, I don't know I'm leaning too hard to do, but I don't know if that's just because he's got that style of uh, brawling and I tend to like that he, you know, he's putting more in. He's, he's going forward, he's definitely going forward. That's what is Lucas. Well, that's who's putting Lucas back and... Um, Lucas is perhaps a more technical fighter of the two. But, um, it. It's how you did score it, and yeah. I really yeah, I'd, I'd struggle scoring it. Third and final round coming up. Dave's calling the men straight from the LNFAO videos. <laughs> Very hipster. Good show of sportsmanship, touching gloves. Nice, axe kick. Got caught now, he's put, uh, Dave's putting his back foot, the clinch shot. 
Is the ref going to be ref checkmate? If he can get in there. It's a wild, wild um, combos by both guys. Lucas seems to have a mouse on his uh, left eye. Under the left eye. Superman punch lands. Superman punch there. This fight is turning more into a brawl yeah, the longer it goes on. It looks like Dave definitely uh, dragged Lucas into his game. Lucas smiles there as he gets it with the push kick. I think uh, Lucas' corner has told him to go forward, go forward all the time. Good jumping knee landed there by Dave. Because uh, this third round he's definitely changed his game plan and he's just moving forward constantly. It's such a close fight in the first two rounds. Both nice fighters have got to go at it. I think. Right so that he just took a big hit. He smiled, but you can tell because he hurt. Nice low kick by Dave. Lucas is looking tired here. Yeah, he is. Showing signs of fatigue, throwing, throwing kicks with his hands down. Whereas Dave's staying pretty technical. He's got his second wind here. I think there is a slight, well, a, a significant strength advantage with Lucas. But when it gets in close, that kind of bullies him around a bit. Definitely, but not the um, power punch, though. No, it seems no. uh, Dave is... Oh, oh, he's blocked him a little bit there. He staggered, staggered Lucas a bit. He's spinning back first. Well, it seems to be the forearm that hit him as well. Yeah. Keep oh, Dave's, Dave's been it here. He's coming back. Dave has really come to fight, hasn't he? Yeah, he's come alive in this last yeah. round as well. He's looking low, that, that could mean a high kick coming up. Look low, throw high. Davis. Lucas squashes that with, by flying in with the, the right hand. We've got the last 10 seconds now. There we go. Ball for ball, here we go. That's it, good. He clings. <laughs> there we go. No, oh, they're still going. Time. Great fight. A great fight there. A bit of confusion at the end of the timing. Both of the others, to be honest. We'll see how the judges score it. Got his arms up, he thinks he's won as Dave. Always oh, very sporting. <laughs> Here's the result now. Is it? Here comes Aaron. Chatsfield with the uh, result. Stumble up the steps. goes wild and that just shows muscles don't win fights definitely not it's all about your heart in this game comes alive in the last round takes the fight impressive by Dave uh, he wants to hug off the ring girl nah I like his style he's back dancing disco day disco 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 he's dancing oh he's getting his groove on Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a short break now for about 50 minutes. We're straight up, 
Vocês podem 